in this video, we're gonna be testing the noise, heat, and power consumption of the new PS4 Pro 7200 series. We have the PS4 Pro fully updated. We have Red Dead Redemption 2 fully installed, and now it's ready to go. I'm gonna play it for an hour, and then we'll do the test after I'm done. I'll see you in an hour. We've been playing for about an hour and 10 minutes or so. I've been taking a few readings while I've been playing, but I'll take some readings now just so we have what they are right now. Currently the temperature is about 152 degrees Fahrenheit and we have a wattage reading of 126 watts. Let's read the decibel level and then we'll use the IR temperature to see what the temperatures are from the back. So the decibel reading is about 40 decibels right now. The decibel reading is pretty low right now as I am paused in the game. Now let's go over the readings that I took while I was playing the games. The highest temperature I saw while I was playing the game was 155 degrees Fahrenheit. The highest wattage reading I saw was 167 watts and the loudest it got was 47 decibels. My readings for the original PS4 Pro for the temperature was a max of 134 degrees Fahrenheit. The maximum wattage I saw on the original PS4 Pro was 155 watts, and the max decibel level was 55 decibels. So for this new model of PS4 Pro, the temperature is higher, it uses more energy, but the noise is a lot less. So for this model of PS4 Pro, the 7200, it uses more energy, the temperature is higher, but it is still quite a bit quieter. Tell me in the comments section why you think this one is quieter, even though the exhaust air temperature is higher. My theory is that somehow the cooling system is more efficient, so the thermal transfer between the APU and the heatsink is better, and so it's pushing more of the hot air outside of the console. That's just my theory. One way I could test this theory is to install liquid metal on this console and then see what the exhaust air temperature is. Let me know in the comment section if you'd like to see me do that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what other questions you have about this console, and I hope you have a good one. Let's take a look at the fans on the 7215, the new model, versus the old original model, the 7015. The 7015 has a Delta fan, the 7215 has a Nidec fan. Those are probably the two main differences I see. And when we turn them over, we can see the main difference here. We've got this plastic ring here on the top edge, and on this fan, the 7215 fan, it is right in the middle. The fan blades are also shaped a little bit different here. They're more of a curved shape, whereas on here they kind of kind of almost go out the other way right at the very end. So these are just curved the whole way around. I would guess that that makes it quieter, but I could be wrong. Those are really the only differences I see in the fan between the original PS4 Pro and the new 7200 model PS4 Pro. Let's take a look at the power supplies. Here we have the 7115 model and the 7215 model of power supplies. They look pretty similar. They've got pretty much the same components with a few extras and a few less depending on which power supply you're looking at. But for the most part, all the main components are there on both of these. Obviously, there's no way to tell how it compares as far as power consumption and efficiency, but we can at least get a look and see how close they are in the design. The 7215 does show an extra large capacitor over here. The 7115 just has this one, but it could also just because this is a Delta model and this is a chickeny model. So other than that, it looks like pretty much all the components are there and similar. We've got the transformers here and here and smaller ones here and here. We've got a similar number of capacitors as far as the smaller ones over here. We've got a little bit less showing right here than right here. But overall, these are very similar, at least from the looks of it, from what I can tell. This one does have fewer components on it. You can see there's some there and some there and there's just less components than this older model. 